Let's create a Pareto analysis from some text data. Usually if you go to the IT department in a Six Sigma project and you say, uh, I'm looking for data about problems, they're going to give you data in a text file. And so it's just a long list of, of um, text values. So I'm going to copy the text file that I got from the IT department, and I'm going to paste that into a spreadsheet in Excel. Now, this just a list of problems that are reported by patients in a hospital regarding issues that they experience, problems they experience during their stay. And what I want to do is I want to analyze this list and see in graphical form what the biggest problems are. So to do that, I'm going to go to the data menu. I need subtotals and counts and not just the list. So I'm going to go to the data menu and I'm going to go to the subtotal tab and Excel says it can't determine which row in my list contains column labels and if I want the first row to be used as labels and not as data to click OK. In fact, that is what I want. So I'm just going to click OK and the subtotal command will create a count at each change in the problem column. So that's exactly what I want. I'll click OK. And this list has three different levels. Right now it's at level three, which is fully expanded. It shows me all of the problems and it shows me a count. I'm going to just double click on this on this column separator. So you see the food count, there are 13 problems. 13 times food was reported as a problem. 11 times noise, three times policies, three times restroom cleanliness, and so on. This list is fine, but I don't need to have all of the detail. In fact, I'm trying to summarize that data. So what I want to do is I want to click on number two here. That's going to give me two levels of detail. And this is the list that I'm looking for. Now I want to analyze these counts. Um, the way to do that is I'm going to create a separate spreadsheet with the counts. I'll highlight the list of counts from the subtotals and I now want to just get the visible data. I don't want the entire list. So to get that I'm going to press the control G key is in go. I'm going to go down to the special option and I'm going to tell it to copy visible cells only. And then I'm going to press Control C to copy those cells. Let's create a separate spreadsheet and let's paste the data into the shell into the um, spreadsheet. So I'll press Control V to copy the data. And I'm going to expand that column by clicking on the column separator. And what I have is the problem and the count. Now what I want to do is create a Pareto analysis of the counts of the different problems and notice that the grand count is not a problem so I'm not going to analyze that in my counts. What I want to insert is a chart but I see that uh, what I am missing is a tab that says insert. Insert has a option in there to insert a Pareto chart so I'm going to go to file going down to Options, Customize Ribbon, and I'm going to click Insert. Insert is going to put that tab on my ribbon. There it is, Insert. Now I'm going to highlight this data up to but not including the grand count, and I'm going to type Insert. And this chart is called a statistics chart, and I'll click that drop-down list and it has on there a Pareto chart. So I'll select that and voila, there's my Pareto chart. Now this Pareto chart is all nice enough and everything, but it's not the way it should be formatted. What I want to see is each bar relative to the total problem. So I want to know what food looks like relative to the total number of problems. And I want this percentage line to be able to come straight across to match the count with the percent. I'm going to select the column labels and I'm going to tell it to format the axis. And what I want to do is create a chart where the top of the chart, the top of the axis is the grand total which we know is 38. So I'll type in 38, hit enter, 
and Excel now has a properly formatted Pareto chart. Uh, simply put in the title and the axis labels and so on, and you'll be good to go.